Cancerian, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset of Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot here. Thank you so much for being here. And I do hope that you're doing well in this time. These are going to be general tarot card messages for the sign of Cancer. Um, all of the messages may not apply to you because it's general messages. So take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly. Thank you so much too for choosing to support the video by hitting the like button sharing the messages with those you love so go ahead and hit the share button and you can share it to your whatsapp facebook or your blog whatever you love to do and um spread these messages if they inspire you also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so all of your support is abundantly appreciated so i feel like doing a money reading for today and this reading will be uploaded by three o'clock east latest um so we want to see what's going to happen financially for the rest of the day so let's see for those of you who read um who have subscribed and hit notification bell who will see this video in time or maybe whenever you see this video it's going to apply for the rest of the day okay let's look here i invite you in so breathe with me so we can get accurate messages out for you let us see miracles and transformations. Welcome in angels, spirits, guides, beloved ancestors. Let me get some money reading for the sign of cancers for the rest of the day. Let's see what's going to happen. But let me tell you though, we see beautiful cards. The first three cards that came up, Ace of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. And in a money reading, this is spectacular. The Ace of Cups is an abundance of love. It is also talking about how you are feeling content, full of love, like self-love. You have found this infinite space of love within you. Love that no one can take from you or give to you. It's yours. This is source, is love. Okay? You feel that. So even in down days, okay, you, you know where your love is coming from. It's beautiful. Some of you are, for some of us, collectively, this can be new love that is coming into our lives. As we meet new people that we love, we meet our soul family. Okay, we feel divinely anointed and love all of that. Just feelings of love This with the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Okay? I feel like in your obstacle energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm... And um, the Knight of Pentacles talks about work and being of service, um, dedicated, committed to work. So this is sure income, but maybe it's taking a while because the Pentacles energy is kind of solid. So it's slow. It's kind of slow moving, but it is sure to come. It is like Earth. Okay. It is sure to arrive to you. And when it does arrive, it will be abundant to the night of pentacles this could be money coming into you from a service that you're offering from love that you're giving or just from you being a loving person and and i feel as it is as it, as it is resting in your challenge position i feel like you may be thinking it's something that money that you're waiting for is not coming through it's quickly enough okay uh you know you're feeling like maybe it's not following through quickly enough all right, then in the, we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is an abundance, inheritance, birthright, prosperity, success. This is like, uh, uh, you know that, that movie? The Sound of Music. This feels like that energy with me running on top of that hill. The birds, it's like being completely happy and prosperous. The birds singing, nature just full. Or for me, that's maybe my energy of wealth and prosperity. But this card is reflect this card reflects that for me too, you know, like the energy of being full, of being free. It's like ultimate abundance and prosperity for you here. I feel like you do have that. It is on your side. Because the ace of pentacles is actually in the energy of what you have to work with. And seeing this, you know, as what you have to work with is telling me that you are already wealthy. It's as if it's telling me you have an inheritance, but you're not using it. I don't know. So look out for that. Let's see if we can explore. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Cancerians? Money for today. What is the Ace of Pentacles? It's money that's given to you or offered to you. Or 
maybe by someone you love, family member, father, law, inheritance, something done by it had to come back to you. Three of done, something was exposed. Working for something, material success. Yeah, something was exposed. That truth being told, the Ace of Swords. It's almost like there's money for you, but you don't know. So let's see if we can explore this. As if you have money. I don't know if it is in a bank or saved up. Or it's locked. It's like a... a, a um, I can't touch it. The King of Cups. Maybe money from your father. Maybe you have land or valuables. Yeah, do you have something unique? I hear. Could be a gift. It could be a business, a soulmate. The two of the two of pentacles. Balance. Maybe you're going to meet someone. The king of cups. That's going to help you to. Because the ace of cups, so ace and ace would make the two of pentacles, right? So it's like a union, maybe with a, between a fire sign and a water sign. Right, juggling something, juggling love and money because the two of pentacles actually looks like juggling emotions and pentacles, juggling spiritual and material. So it's like the ace of cups could be talking about spiritual and the ace of pentacles material. Maybe you are giving what is spiritual and receiving material. So maybe that, that that is a hint for you for today. I feel like in the past, this is the four of cups is in your past energy. You are a bit closed off to receiving. Because you see your all these hands issuing to you. The love and the money, you know, the spiritual blessing, the physical blessing as well. Um, but I feel like you've been shy or closed off, not opening up. So I feel like you could open your heart space. Or that's in the past energy you weren't opening your heart space maybe you weren't open so open to receiving before okay receiving this love that's been given to you coming out of the divine all right so i want to say learn to receive meditate upon receiving love it's abundant this is source you know you can't go wrong with this amount of love and and wealth <laughs> that is here for you i feel like you could learn Something maybe about work or being of service, breaking the traditional ways of doing things with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a kind of union or marriage or contracts or just being together. Remember, we started two of pentacles. Maybe breaking some contract, some contrast. Ooh, I'm hearing contrast too with the five of um ones. Contrast, like the things that are around you. Let me see now. The contrast feels like what is evident, what is present, what you grew up learning, the old traditional things. Not that traditional things aren't beautiful, but everything that has to do with maybe mindset and energy when it comes to manifestation. All right, that is, the, that is like a contrast. So even though it is a conflict, it's the emotional conflict in your belief patterns, like I can't do this. How can I do this? How can I, you know? Because I feel like the abundance is so much present within you to receive and have everything that you want. But it's the challenge is really in your mindset, you know. Maybe the challenge is about hard work. You're thinking working hard or uh, believing with the Knight of Pentacles energy. We may be investing too much in the material and not in self. So that's why I'm saying meditate so you can be open more to universal information that's coming into you. Because the Ace of Pentacles is also intelligence. So we have love and intelligence. We have intel, which is emotional intel. And then we have intel, which is material intel, physical intelligence. So using your intuition as well as your skills, your gifts to make this money come to you. So I feel like opening your heart will open, it, open up your intuition and your gifts. So that you'll be able to receive more and receive easier. I feel like when you do so, it helps this money to flow into you. Remember I said it, the Knight of Pentacles, it's taking its time to come. This money, 
this is a money reading so that's why we're just talking about money we're not even talking about energy and well-being we're literally just talking about the physical money 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 okay so this coming into you has kind of seized or slowed down or been delayed because of your energy and your openness so work on your heart chakra know that you deserve you live in an abundant universe and you deserve all but she's like you've been holding yourself back saying i want a million dollars but you know what i mean instead of being i want a million dollars open knowing that you see with the world card because this is what's coming up for you i just haven't reached this yet you're about to change your mindset from a traditional way of thinking the hierophant the church religion belief schools Things that have been beaten and enslaved into your, your psyche about money. Because you, you know this world runs on, on money, okay? You know, yesterday I was just, I was thinking yesterday, how many people, how much people are just literally tired of working for money? And I imagine money as being a, a person, for example. And you're like, I'm tired of working for money. I mean, is it working for you? Is it working for you? It's about your mindset. And I literally believe tapping into your, your spiritual gifts. You're about to find out so much more. So coming up, so that's the challenge. So I feel like that's what you can do. The highest thing you can attain for is to challenge your beliefs, patterns, and be open. Then we have the world, which is you being open. And look at how you being open feels. You're receiving. You're, it's not like you're saying no to this to this hand being issued you're open and i feel like you're open to receiving especially because you know what your intentions are it's almost like see you're open to receiving and you know where it's the cha you're channeling this money to as well that's the world of vibration the cycle of life so i feel to speed not this money coming for you maybe today Look, it just feels so real. To speed that up, I feel like you even have a greater vision of the the avenue in which you're going to be sending this money forth from yourself, you know? Create that avenue for this money. Because maybe, you know, I'm getting the energy of walking off this energy of money coming into you. It's in a trench, but the way is not yet fully paved. That's why it's really taking so long. Look how easily it moves when the world is open, when you're open to receiving it, when you're not... When you're not asking for something and then um, disbelieving it, doubting it, you know, you're really open. Anything is possible with the world energy. And I told you about studying, going to libraries, reading some new books, getting new information, really changing your mind with the world card. You know, this, this as I stated, the Hierophant feels like traditions or it represents traditions, traditional things like marriage and home and schooling, traditional schooling and church, all of that. Okay. The world card feels more like spirituality. We have the eagle, we have mankind, we have lion, we have the ram down here, okay? We, we have many spiritual symbolisms in this card representing being open-minded, not limited mindset, exploration. And I feel like this is going, it's almost like, and, you, and it's, oh, it's like, and all of a sudden this pentacles energy just fills your space because you allow it to come into you. Okay. All right. Let's go down to the agree. So the, this is beautiful because the world card is the outcome for you. Okay. So it's so nice. The world card is the outcome, and what you have working for you is this inheritance, like your birthright, prosperity coming into your world. But it's just how much you believe that and accept that into you, or do you still have this this mindset? This church telling you, you know, not that I have anything against church, really, honestly, you know. That's what I'm saying. We have to be open-minded. We can't be like, oh, church is so... I'm not going to blast the church. I have nothing against gathering and worshipping. People do what they do. It's called connection. But I'm just saying it. Sometimes it's the mindset about what we've learned in a system about money in particular. Money is bad with the Hierophant religion. Money is the root of all evil. Money won't make me happy. So if you have those feelings, or money is hard to get with the Knight of Pentacles, if you have those feelings, you make it so. You block it. But if you reprogram your mind, oh yes, if you do so, with the, which I feel you're about to do, you know, 
things are about to change. I see movement for you too with the Six of Swords energy. Transformation taking place. This could have happened in your past. Or it's happening now. Some movement. Or you're deciding to make a shift. Um, to make a shift to calmer waters. That's what I'm saying. It could be even your mindset because this is the Swords energy. So you see in the past you're being closed off. No, I feel like you're changing that mindset with the world going into calmer waters. See you moving. Okay. And then so it's like the conflict is clearing up this channel here because this is the current energy as it relates to your financial situation, the beliefs, the conflict, and the 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 rigorousness or the all the effort that is put into receiving okay that's how you feel now in the future we have the ace of pentacles the world and the strength that you're getting to know because i feel like balancing your emotions is important we saw the two pentacles earlier 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 in the message it's like holding on to what you believe in you change your mindset to you change your beliefs and you're, it's the the eight the strength card is magician energy as well Magician energy works with the element, all four elements. The strength card does the same, but more internally. And that's why I was talking about meditation. Okay. So, uh, and this, um, some movement could be happening in your home, perhaps. No, 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 no. In your mental space. In your home, there could be a bit of conflict. As I say, relating to tra traditions and beliefs. Different ideas about work and life and gifts and sharing all right maybe that's maybe other people's opinions etc 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 and that's why you have to stay firm with the strength card you know to manifest like this you have to really stay firm you can't be swayed by what other people are going to come in and say you know so as with the swords card i'm actually really feeling that defiance that intention of thought of moving in a direction that you know is going to serve you. And this is, look at this. This is a highlight. Abundance. Alright, so make a decision to be more open, to be more receiving and to know who you are. To, ch to challenge your limiting mindset and beliefs about wealth and abundance and about manifestation and how soon you can manifest. Because I feel like you can do it like that. And I told it there, garner these energies, nourish them, um, you know, nurture them, these feelings into prosperity. Because look at the strength card and the world card. Both of these look like prosperity occurring, okay? And this is your future. So this future energy here that we're seeing with Ace of Pentacles, the world and the strength, is supposed to be by the end of today or whenever this day ends for you in particular. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the final outcome is the King of Pentacles. The King of Cups. Oh my, my bad. Maybe the King of Oh, the King of Pentacles is here. And playing cards. I feel like celebration with the Three of Hearts, too. King of Cups, Three of Hearts, celebration, success. All right. Um, having a vision, being spiritually grounded, holding your emotions. You see what I mean? Moving with the tides, I feel land and home and village and community here and leadership, like a lot coming up for you as it relates to your money. With the King of and with the King of Cups, I keep saying King of Pentacles, but the King of Cups does not here seem to be focused on money. This is about leadership and work and service. And it's still connected to the Ace of Cups that you are. Remember in the beginning I told you how content you feel with this love and all that. Okay? So it's like you're not looking for, you're not really based in material, you're more moving spiritually with your mission and it's making you successful. I feel like it is making you abundant because you are being diligent, you know. Um, but I don't feel like that is your main mission with the King of Cups as your outcome for money. It's having a feeling of having accomplished or chased or received or lived or is living your personal legend what is true to you okay 
So I feel like keep your eye on the prize, on the success, the celebration, the unions, yeah. and all is well for you. All right, so I'm leaving these messages here. Thank you so much for coming through. If you found any that resonates with you and inspires you on your journey, do hit the thumbs up and leave a compliment behind on the video. Share the messages with those you love as you leave. Hit the share button. You can share to your groups, your blogs. If you're an author, I, I mean, if you're, if you're a blogger or an author and you like to write, you can share the messages of inspiration with those that follow you. And uh, you can comment, subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much for supporting this channel's journey. Much love and appreciation to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember that you should dream big because all is within you. You're all. Much love.